Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lewis Shenanigans of 1977. Today is Friday, May 19th. I just want to make sure Kane's not around. <laughs> to make sure Kane's not around. Uh, you hear May 19th. Here comes Kane. We're in trouble. Uh, speaking of wrestling, and we're going to be talking about a little bit about... Um, what happened last night on Impact Wrestling, as you know, I ended up watching the uh, replay today on my computer, and we're ready to go. So, um, and so we're going to uh, get right right to it. As you know, um, Under Siege is on the way, and we have a hu um, huge announcement on a tag team championship match of Impact Wrestling. I'll get to that when we get to um, the card here. Uh, Trey Miguel and Laredo Kid going one on one in a non-title matchup. And Trey McGill, by yanking off the mask of Laredo Kid, which is a classless move if you're if you're a true Luchador fan, um, picked ended up picking up the victory. And then Miguel decided, well, since you guys are not giving me respect, I'll sit here until I get respect, like a little child throwing a tan tantrum. And then Chris Saban heads in the ring, and he said, and he said, you know what? I'm here, I respect you enough to get uh, to get in your face and telling you I'm going to kick your butt for that title. Here's the thing, he said. When you got the title and spray painted, you disrespected everybody. He, he, he mentioned everybody that held the X Division title or was part of the X Division for a long time. And he says, you just disrespected all of us. And it looks like Chris Saban's about had enough of the uh, shenanigans, shall we say, of Mr. One Trey Miguel. And um, Chris Saban says he's going to try to be the first ever nine-time X Division champion. And that will be something to... Um, to be well aware for. So, Trinity was getting ready for her uh, in Impact in ring debut match against Kylan King, one half of the Knockouts Tag Team Champions. And Jay Vidal confronted Tr Trinity. He said, You know that picture you took? Well, I got in trouble for that. And I'm going, Lord, kid. I was like, Kid, you took the picture. Not Trinity, you moron. And I, and I had a feeling, I knew that. When Jade Vidal asked Trinity for a selfie, I knew it was all a setup. I knew it was all a setup from the get-go. I mean, it was all a setup to the point where uh, Giselle Shaw was going to be the one to accept the challenge, the open, the open contract of Trinity at Under Siege. And then, and then after Trinity disses him, he walks away. And then Simi Callie and Rich Swan uh, were interviewed about how they first met and how, you know, and they're all and they're all joking around, clowning around, having some fun, and all that. But at Under Siege, the design and the six man tag will face Swan and Callahan, but they need a partner to do. It. Who, now, who can who can be the partner that can be highly annoyed with the design? You know, Cody Deaner. I'll tell you one thing. He came a long way from this goofy. Um, goofy southern boy redneck and transforming himself into one of the most devious minds in Impact Wrestling and coming up with the design. That is something that, you know, I mean, when you go under the learning tree of Eric Young, you tend to be like that. Speaking of which, Eric Young is, Herbert is back, he's been back, you know, he had, we haven't seen him in the WWE yet. I don't know what the heck is going on. Eric Young's doing his thing or is he fighting, is he recuperating from an injury that we don't know about? We don't know what's up, so. So that's so there's that. Ace Austin went one on one with Jason Hotch, and Brian Myers just the a, um, the ABC before the match. Say hey, I'm mentoring these the good hands now. Now now ABC the Ace and Bay Club will be defending the Impact Tag Team Champions against former NXT UK standouts Subculture. That it will be Mark Andrews who's returning to Impact Wrestling. That's how he um, got his big break in Impact Wrestling. Mark Andrews teaming up with Flash Morgan Webster and. Danny Luna will be in their corner to challenge the Ace and Bay connection. It's going to be very, or ABC. So this is going to be a very interesting uh, situation here. 
But thanks to the uh, the shenanigans of one Brian Myers, who I think probably used a pair of brass knucks to hit um, Ace Austin in the face, Jason Hodge did pick up the victory over over Ace Austin. Now Steve Macklin decided to give Champagne Singh and Shira another sh a chance to prove themselves to him. So he said, follow me. And uh, then GM, uh, GM Miller interviewed Jordan Grace and said, listen, what happened last week was an accident. Then Alicia Edwards... Oh, God bless her heart, man. You know, as small as she is, man, she she had enough guts to interrupt Jordan. He said, you did it on purpose and all that. You want to see it on purpose for real? And then and then she went to go, went to visit Alicia Edwards. Like, you did it. And then she walked away. I'm like, oh. I was like, Alicia, Alicia, sweetheart, do not even try, you know, try to start the pot. I was like, you know, but I know Alicia Edwards. I've watched her since the days when she used to be um, here in New Bedford at the Wellesley Festival, part of Yankee Pro Wrestling, South Coast, South Coast Championship um, Wrestling, a.k.a. Top Row Promotions, and all that. And um, I even had a picture with her before she made it big on Impact and before she married Eddie Edwards. I'm not kidding you. I do have that picture somewhere. So um, then... Um, So, Trinity went one-on-one -on -one with Kylan King, and instead of using the rear, and it was a heck of a matchup, but Trinity, instead of using the rear view as a finishing maneuver, the submission hole, so like the Anaconda Vice, which calls it Starstruck, Kylan King tapped out, Trinity wins uh, wins the matchup. And then, Jai Vidal, once again, that little goofball, decides to interrupt, uh, Giselle Shaw's little goofball gopher, Interrupts Trinity once again. She goes, she accept she goes, on Giselle Shaw says that she accepts your challenge and under siege. She goes, fine. Like a little mess. And she's tried to she and he, he and he tries to punch her and he goes, send I send a message to Giselle Shaw, I'm going to kick her butt. And then she kicks him in the back of the head. I'm like, Jay Vidal, stay out of the way, brother. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh boy. Let me tell you, Jay, that Jay Vidal is out of his mind, okay? Oh, yeah, it's, it's like you know you say it's like saying I'm Jay Vidal. Oh, you're watching Jackass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jay Vidal. Well, I don't know what brother. We don't know what we're gonna do with you, man. But you know, being Giselle Shaw's gopher, and <laughs> it's gonna get you a whole lot of bunch of trouble. When you have Savannah Savannah Evans, you're gonna be in more trouble. That's for sure. More hot water. And uh, Jessica was checking her, uh, you know, hourglass, which is almost up. And then the coven in, uh, uh, confronts her and get Jessica and get and Rosemary here. And she goes, "Nope, nope, nope. I'm under single. I'm fine. He goes, you can't. You don't have the magic." And and it seems like it could lead to another feud. Who do you be getting? Are they going to get Taya Valkyrie back? Or we have not seen the bloody undead bride Sue Young since um, since she had her baby. Is she going to come back from maternity leave and step back in the ring and help out and be an unlikely ally to Jessica and Rosemary to help out against the Coven? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what James Mitchell and Rosemary are up to, but I'll tell you one thing right now. Those uh, dark sided shenanigans could be a little freaky. You know what I mean? And as a born again Christian, I got to be. I got to be weary. Here. You know what I'm saying? Is that if I, I'd be I'd be sitting looking at Rosemary and and just Rosemary and go, okay. <laughs> I felt like Richard Mole, uh, Bull Shannon from Night Court. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, but the, but the Death Dolls they'll figure something out, and I'm sure those ta knockouts tag team tiles will be <laughs> will be embroiled in a little bit of darkness, if you know what I mean. So. But then uh, Jody Threat went one on one with the lovely Sierra, and Jody Threat did pick up the victory over Sierra, and, and a great matchup. Speaking of Alicia Edwards, she's starting to start to cause more trouble alongside her husband Eddie Edwards. And Edwards says, "Listen, I know you're the veteran and all that around you, but you got to follow me tonight." And and, and then <laughs> in a sarcastic manner, like Freddie, like Frankie Kazarian does it. Okay, you're the leader. Okay, okay, Captain, follow you. Let's hope this works better than Honor No More. I'm like, ooh. Oh, that stings a little bit. Stings. It's stung a little bit. That's for sure. Hey. And so, so Dirty Dango talked to Johnny Swinger and Ziggy Tyson and said, you guys are innocent on this. You, oh, you wouldn't, you weren't incompetent. You're stupid. You would never, ever uh, attack Santino. He goes, like, well, why don't you say his name already? And then Joe Hendry appears. 
and then uh, you know and uh, you know so and Joe and uh, and so and Joe and you know he accused Joe Hendry. Joe Hendry goes, "What are you? What are you talking about? I would never attack Santino." And then. And then Joe Henry tried to confront Santino, and what happened was, I think Rich Dirty Dango, uh, not Santino, uh, Dirty Dango, and I, and I think Dirty Dango had something. You know, I think it was the third, the third nipple or something like that. Is what you call it. And he, and he, well, Dirty Dango's a weird dude as it is. So, and then all of a sudden, he attacked Joe Henry, and he goes case closed. Why did he attack Santino? That's what I want to know. Dirty Dango is a weird, weird dude. And I'll tell you one thing. And he attacked Joe Hendry. Big mistake, my friend. I think he probably wants um, Joe Hendry's uh, digital media title. Will that be on the line? And under siege, we'll find out. It, I can't believe Dirty Dango will be the one to attack Santino. Why? I don't know. Mm. And then... And then we had the six-man tag team matchup with, involving all six men who will be fighting for the number one contender spot for the Impact World title. Oh, I forgot to um, mention that uh, Macklin, Shira, and Singh all attack PCO. And after they stomp down, Macklin's giving orders. Shira and Singh will continue attacking PCO. And he goes, you know what? You, you're invincible. And grabs a couple of... He goes, get, get a couple of those... Uh, Cinder blocks. He had these little small cement blocks, and then Macklin puts it across the back of PCO. Macklin grabs the sledgehammer, busts it through. And after what happened, we don't know if that world title could be in serious jeopardy. There's no doubt. And speaking of the world title, um, on one side of the, uh, the six man tag, Alex Shelley, Yuya, Uramara, and Jonathan Gresham face Moose, Kazarian, and Edwards in a six man tag. All six of these men are going to fight each other for the number one contender spot. For the uh, World um, Impact World Cha Championship, but thanks to some miscommunication by Kazarian Edwards, who've been jaw jacking uh, during the match and afterwards, Al Shelley, Jonathan Gresham, and Yuya Uemura did pick up the victory over Moose Kazarian Edwards. And Kazarian Edwards are still jaw jacking. I got a hunch that this feud is going to happen, and not only this feud could happen, it could lead. To their respectful, respectful wives getting involved. Uh, in this case, Eddie Edwards with Alicia. In fact, Kazarian, I wouldn't be surprised to knock out original Tracy Brooks decided to to, um, to help out her husband. That will be something I would look out for. So, that's all the time we have on this show. Episode 574 of Eric Levy's Shenanigans of 1977. Coming next is coming up next is um, episode. Uh, uh, 575, episode 36 of the Game of Strategy, Luck, Knowledge, and Daring, Bullseye. Uh, also, um, a little bit of change, Impact, um, not Impact, AEW Rampage will be tonight at 6.30. So, I'll be joining my friend Jordy Scow on the um, live reaction stream, if if he if indeed is planning on doing it, or something else. And, uh, and then we got SmackDown and NXT Level Up. So, until then, this is, is Eric Lima of Eric Lima Shenanigans, 1977, episode 574. Until that next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with... A sweet bowl for raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lehman's Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.